Okay, here we have the nine millimeter. Entered in, went right about, this is a 16 inch block, and it's just shy of 15 inches. Full expansion. The first time I shot this with the nine millimeter Ranger T like this, the block was really cold. It was probably 20 below, and you can see down below, it just passed right through. So, you know, something about it being softer. This is not supposed to be temp sensitive, but apparently when it's 20 below, that exceeds the limits. So now we're gonna shoot it with the 44 mag and with the 460, look at that, that's pretty wicked. I'll dig this out a little later too, so you get a better look at those pellets. Well, as you may have guessed, the 44 mag passed all the way through. As you can see right here at the end, And it got really small, the last inch or so. It's kind of interesting. Pretty good. There's the entry hole, there's the entry hole. And then it knocked my block off. So the 460 is really gonna send this thing flying. It got all dirty, I'm gonna have to wash it off before I melt it down, get all that crud out of there. Okay, there's the 460 hole, and as you can imagine, it knocked it off again, but I wanted to show you something here. This is a box of ammo that was underneath. It just exploded. The pressure really just rocked that box underneath and partially ripped open the other one. But let's see, we got all full of crap now, but you can see there's the wound channel. Once I wash this off, I think it'll be a lot better, but yeah, no surprise, 460 went clean all the way through. So there's four good tests, and I think I got one more spot right in the middle. Could shoot with something else, but four good tests out of one block of clear ballistics gel. So I'm pretty happy with this stuff. It's really cool. Well, so we got one more test option. We're gonna go big. Uh, this is a 405 at around 1150 out of the 4570. These aren't super fast, but uh, it's gonna pack a wallop. So I figured I should record this one. Of course, we're shooting this inside the office, so it should be interesting. Point blank range. Nice. Held it in there pretty good. Splattered it with powder burns a little bit, but uh, that was a soft point, as you can see. It's the middle one right here, right, right there, get it over there, there we go. No surprise there, clean through. Let's see, we got a little bit of, uh, right there on the side, some, sorry to kind of flare out a little bit, do some tearing. So it must have broken off a little bit right around in that point. There, went on out. Off into the wilderness. So, five pretty good tests. I'm gonna dig that uh, nine millimeter out. Let's we'll see what it looks like. All right, dug out the 147 grain Ranger T. You can see the pedals on there, those talons there. Pretty wicked. This thing, see what it does. 142 even. So it lost three grains. Not too bad. Pretty good weight retention. Already got it all cleaned up, and you hit it with a torch, and this stuff turns really clear. Right here is the 460. Let's see that. And then right here, it got really thin. Where is it? Must have slowed down there. It wasn't creating a permanent wound channel anymore. This is the non-expanding nine millimeter right here. Left a few pieces on its way all the way through. And let's see on the far side here. It's a little hard to see from the side. I'll switch it around. Right here is the expanding. Nine mil that ended up stopping right there. Right there with the 
460. See some stuff coming out, little pieces spraying off. It's pretty wicked. And then right underneath it, you can see the this one right here was the uh, 4570. And there's a few pieces that are kind of suspended in there that came out at different places. But pretty cool. Well, pretty stoked. That 460 is something else. It really left a, quite a wound channel through there. Pretty impressive stuff. So that's your clear ballistics. I'm really psyched. This is, I want to test a bunch of other things. So I'm going to melt this one down and we'll see what we get from here. Pretty impressive stuff. So check out your clear ballistics gel. Get some, it's awesome.